Happy Wednesday. My name is Philosophical, and this video is explaining the yoga burst. So I used to have this concept that if I was going to do yoga, I would need to go to the studio and have uh, no distractions whatsoever, and I would need to set aside like an hour for my day. But in this video, I'm going to explain the yoga burst, where you can just do five or ten minutes of yoga pretty much anywhere at any time. And you don't really need a yoga mat, but I've got my yoga mat here. I'm just in a beautiful backyard right now, but I often do it on the sidewalk or just in a random place. Um, and yoga has a zillion and a zillion benefits. It's helped me so much uh, to heal from injuries, and it's just really amazing. So I'm gonna go through a few basic moves here and just give some general explanation explanation I encourage you to explore yoga on your own um, so here we go I like to tune in with three ohms so I just kind of spread my legs out here and do three big ohms with my arms so it goes then you bring your hands together at heart center and that really just helps to clear your mind and just get you focused then I like to set a little intention if I'm doing like a 10 minute practice and maybe I want to clear my mind, I just kind of set the intention of clarity or balance or something like that. So then I stand at the back of my mat and throughout this whole yoga burst, I'm always inhaling on the when I come up and exhaling when I go down in any one pose. So I start the first, this is basically a sun salutation A if you're familiar with that. Um, but I kind of add my own little gist and things to it. So I inhale, hands come up. Exhale, bend all the way forward. Inhale with a straight spine and bring the crown of the head forward. And then you come down in, into plank pose, which is like push-up position. There's a joke that says, uh, I saw a dog and I started laughing because it was permanently in the push-up position. <laughs> Pretty lame joke. But anywho, um, once you're in the push-up position, you then come forward and inhale upwards. And then come into downward facing dog where your hips come up towards the sky. Your, um, your heels reach to reach backwards and um, you just can let your neck hang heavy here and I often spend a few a few breaths in each pose so it, it one deep inhale and one deep exhale sometimes I do less or more it's really all about what feels comfortable for you so then once you're in downward facing dog I exhale hop forward Inhale to tabletop position. Exhale, hang heavy. This is called ragdoll. This is one of my favorites where you just hang heavy like a ragdoll. Then inhale all the way up to mountain pose or standing. You can inhale even higher, bringing your hands up together. Then bringing your hands down into prayer pose. Then I usually pause for a moment, recenter myself, inhale up again, open the chest out wide. This opens the heart out to the world. Kind of stretch the stretch the chest open. Then exhale downwards again. Inhale to tabletop. Exhale to high push-up or plank position. Then exhale down, inhale up, 
This is called Upward Facing Dog. And I'm pretty flexible because I've been doing yoga for a while. It's all right if you're not that flexible. You can just kind of do a modification. And then I come into this and I put my right foot towards the center and inhale, bringing the left leg up. Then I like to open up the left leg and exhale it forward, bringing it to my forehead if possible. Then inhale back up and exhale forward. Inhale up, exhale back. Then switch and do it on the other side, inhaling the right leg up. You can open the hip outward and then exhale, bring it forward. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale forward. Then back into downward facing dog. Then we hop to the front of the mat. In, inhale to tabletop. And as you can see, there's dogs running around in the background and all kinds of stuff. It's good to have distractions because that, that way you can just kind of focus on your practice even amidst the chaos. You're like the, the eye within the, in the hurricane. And then you can exhale down and inhale all the way back up to mountain pose or standing. Turn here for a moment. And now we're gonna do three three versions of um, of chair pose. So you inhale, bringing the hips, the knees, hips width distance apart, and you stretch the arms forward like you're sitting in a chair. And when I'm in this pose, I often like to do breath of fire, which is just a, a fast-paced breath through the nose, in and out. But you don't have to do that. And I bring the palms together. You inhale up a little bit, and then we're gonna turn and bring the right elbow to the left knee. So we're turning like this. This is called side chair pose. And then we inhale back up to center. Stretch all the way up. Hands back to heart center. Now we're gonna bring the left elbow to the right knee, twisting to the right. A couple breaths here. This is like a massage on all the internal organs. It feels really good. All right, so those are the three chair pose positions. Then we're gonna come back, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, high push-up. Exhale, low push-up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Stretch out those hips a little bit. Come up into downward facing dog. Now we're gonna inhale the left leg up and then swing it all the way forward to the front of the mat. Now we're gonna come up into warrior one so you want your hips facing forward you can kind of put your hands on your hips and make sure they're both facing forward and then you want your back your back right foot at a, about a 45 degree angle and then we're going to inhale bring the arms all the way up reaching towards the sky and exhale bringing the hands back to heart center this is called warrior one now we're going to open to warrior two so bringing the the left arm forward and the right arm back and i like to always feel like i'm a warrior a peaceful warrior in this pose and now we turn the left palm up inhale reaching forward then exhale back. For call, this is actually called Peaceful Warrior or Reverse Warrior. With my doggy friend. Then we're going to exhale, bringing the left elbow to the left knee. Stretching like this. And then we bring the right 
right arm back behind the hip. Breathe, breathing a couple breaths while we turn like this. And then inhale back up to warrior two. Good to have a dog barking beside you to keep you focused. And now we're gonna swing all the way down, bring the arms forward for a revolving side angle. Hey, and there's also a squirrel up in the bamboo, another friend, friendly companion. And you inhale the left arm all the way up and then you exhale, coming into high push-up again. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side so that we feel symmetrical. We exhale down, inhale upwards, and exhale downward facing dog. You're gonna inhale, bringing the right leg all the way to the sky, open it up, and inhale to warrior one. Making sure the hips are forward, drawing up energy from Mother Earth and storing it in our bodies. We're like a, a conduit between the sky and the earth. And then we bring the hands back to heart center. And then we open up to warrior two. Really stretching, focusing on the middle finger of the right hand. And we inhale, bringing the palms forward and up. And exhale back to reverse warrior. And then exhale, bringing the right elbow to the right knee. Really stretching that whole left side of the body feels so good. Whoa. And sometimes you lose your balance when the wind blows, that's okay. Uh, and then exhale, bringing the left arm behind, opening up the chest. This is like pretzel pose. You can, if you're really feeling flexible, you can do bind, which is where you grab your hands behind your butt. Um, and by the way, I, when I first started yoga, I couldn't do like any of these moves at all. So feel free to modify or just do a basic, a more basic yoga burst. But this is the yoga burst that I've been doing for the past couple months. And we inhale back up to warrior two. Straighten out the legs. Maybe do a little ohm if you want. Inhale. And now we're gonna swing all the way back down to twisted side angle. Revolving side angle, maybe is the official name. I don't know all the all the Sanskrit names. They're like shake your batasana and scoobly doo asana. Then we get into high push-up. Exhale for low push-up. Inhale forward, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And then I hop forward. Clap my hands together and maybe cl let's close with three more ohms. You, you can do them with me if you want. Here, come on in, let's do them close. Let's get our ohms going. You wanna do an ohm with us, Andrew? Yeah. Close out the yoga burst. Hey, Snoop Dogg, you wanna do an ohm with us? All right, so to close out this yoga burst, three big ohms. Inhale deeply.
yoga burst. That is one version of the yoga burst, but I encourage you to create your own and it just has so many benefits. I've been uh, running around and I kind of hurt my knee, but yoga has been helping me to uh, heal my knee and it's interesting because that's how I actually first got into yoga. I got hit by a car and I was able to rehabilitate in two weeks by just doing yoga every day. So I encourage you to do a yoga burst. You can do it anywhere, anytime, for five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and it just totally re-centers you, gets you back on track, and it's really fun. So thanks for watching. Have a happy Wednesday. Peace.